picture them so innocent and young. Maybe they wore white linen as newlyweds often do, outfits coordinated and tailored, the air on the plane from Haiti to Florida smelling like vanilla cake and champagne. The flight attendant is singing Porque Dios Piso Tan Bella. I picture them dancing salsa as they land in Miami. The humidity, their hips swinging, security already warned to keep an eye on them. They must have seemed too joyous and carefree, too busy smiling and dancing on to the promised land. I picture my mother six months pregnant with my oldest brother, my father a nervous happy wreck, my mother angry that he claimed her as his own, my mother insisting she does not know this man, my mother hoping he makes it out free so he can send help, my father reaching for his new wife, my mother calm and calculated, my father pulls out his blue passport as if it were a trophy, my father and his trophy wife are being detained, my mother knowing they know her documents are fake, my mother and father handcuffed at customs, my father Fitting the description of El Machete, the lawyer he paid off who made immigration easy for so many. With his help, you no longer needed to climb a border or survive a boat ride. With his help, you could make it to the States on a first class seat with help. Reparations came faster for Caribeños. With access, thousands of families got to eat good, not just enough. The truth is, I come from immigrants who came from immigrants who came from stolen people, who learned to survive on land they did not steal, nor did they inherit. They simply squatted and plotted and peeled themselves a meal, an acre, a home. I come from loopholes and grievances and immigration lawyers who get paid to turn a criminal into an exceptional Negro. I come from detention centers and green land and busy saintly streets. And maybe, maybe this is not my land. Who is more deserving of it than me?